Within a customer card, you have the ability to allocate dimensions. We want to have a look at flowing dimensions all the way through from the customer card to an invoice to the general ledger. So this customer, customer 1000, we're going to select this customer group is part of their large and the area that they represent from a region is area one. Now, these now will pass through to any document that's created. So if we go to actions, we're going to go new document and sales order. From a sales order, the dimensions will now be copied onto the sales order because of the customer's preferences. You can see these by going to the order, going to dimensions, and from dimensions, um, you can see or you can add, adjust these dimensions that are applied to this sales order. Further, if you were to look for dimensions, you can go more options related order dimensions. Now, the headers dimensions, the sales order header, which is all of the top line fields, carry down to a line. So let's now appoint a product. We're going to sell. I'm going to sell one of and this item also has dimensions against it, and we're going to see on the line, through related information, dimensions. You will now see a combination of four dimensions that have been tagged for this particular transaction on the line. So it's picked up, department, sales, product type, furniture. This document, once we choose to turn around and post it, I'm just going to remove the location because we have stock of this item available. I'm going to say quantity to ship one, quantity to invoice one. We're now going to take this sales order and post it to a sales invoice. Posting, ship an invoice, OK. Now that that document has been posted, the customer will now have a posted sales invoice on their customer card, and we will see from the date, today, I can see the item, I can go to the line and see those dimensions, okay, and we can now go back Go all the way back and we're going to have a look at the chart of accounts. That document, just while we're there, let's go grab it. The document number was this document number here. So we're going to copy that document number. We're going to go finance, chart of accounts. I'm going to go to our income. I can see here our income account. I'm going to click on it and drill into the transactions. And I can see here a transaction. I'm going to filter by clearing this clear value and filter by document number. These are the transactions that relate to this document. You can see here the order and we can from this line go to entry and go to dimensions and you'll see here the subsequent uh, dimensions that were applied. Okay, dimensions have the ability to apply to a customer transaction and flow naturally through the system all the way through to any of your sales documents and that includes going from sales quote, sales order, sales invoice, credits, returns, 
all of these will carry the dimensions over in preference of what applies to the particular customer account. Thank you.